I'm hitting it better this year. I've had real problems with my left leg and it's really sorted out now, so I feel stronger. Putted really well today and I've been working on my putting. That's been my weakest part. Um, drove it well. It was, it was just a really solid day. We were really lucky with the conditions, though. We, we hardly had any wind at all and um, hopefully it will blow up this afternoon and blow him off the course, but that's, that's professional golf for you. But no, we, we, were, we all played well. We, we drew each other along. I think Holly had um, six under and uh, Hyunji, I think, five. So, yeah, it was a good group. You've come from a very different golf course last week, obviously, to this one this week. Uh, you've been doing this your whole life. It's obviously not that difficult, but the style of the two golf courses and the difference in the way you play? Well, it, it, the, the biggest difference is you can make birdies around here, and, and Royal Pines now, it's hard to make birdies because it's so, um, I, so, I want to say tricky, but it's almost unfair in places. Whereas this one, you know, you, you can get away with the odd bad shot because the design helps the ball come in a little bit. It's, I'm not saying it's an easy course by any means. It's always to think easy to think that when you've had a good score, but... It gives you the chances, and uh, we all took it to Dan. I know all, a lot of the girls have had good scores. Last one for me, the seventh hole. Just talk us through what happened there. Looked an unusual bounce off the tee oh shot. Oh, my God, yeah. No, I mean, we waited a fair bit, and so I was a bit stiff when I hit the shot, but I nailed it absolutely straight down the middle, thought it was fine, and get to the bunker, and it's it's up on... Well, I don't know. I've never seen a ball in a on a Melbourne-type bunker, and these, these are superb. The condition of this course is great. I've picked the one six inches that's had a little bit of roots of the grass had grabbed my ball and it was stuck under the lip at the top. I mean, it was, I did really well to actually get it out where I got it to and then unfortunately hit a shock in 9-9 in the front bunker but got up and down. So the, that would have been cruel to have had a bogey on my car today because that's the only time it really looked like it. A brilliant birdie at the next time. Yes, no, no, that was probably the best shot I hit all day. I had two iron off the tee, left myself a five iron from about 157 yards and just hit a little knock down under the wind to about 15 feet and hold the putt. So... Yeah, that was nice. That, that was the best shot I hit today, that five on. Laura, the time on, with your putting, was it just time on the practice putting green or was there something more specific um, that you worked on? Well, I've, I've been staying with Rebecca Artis the last couple of weeks and she's a great putter. And I was just watching her and she, she's she gone um, left hand low. She, I think she's probably been like that for a long time. And Kari Webb's another one that I've seen. And I was just leaving every putt short and I was getting really wristy. So that has just helped me keep my wrists. I had a couple of putts today that I felt like they weren't quite the most solid strokes I could have put on it. But overall, I think I had 29 putts hitting 15 greens, which, you know, for me, my, my average last year statistically must have been in the mid-30s, which is ridiculous for putting when some of these youngsters are, you know, they're 25, 26 putts around. So if I want to compete, I have to putt better. So this is a really good start. Did you say you've gone left hand alone now? Yeah, I'd... yeah, I did. I did. Like I said, I played, we yeah. played four or five rounds because, like I said, stayed at her house and I, I just saw how well she was rolling it and how nicely her hands keep together. And I just thought I'll give it a whirl. And, you know, this is about the fourth round I've been doing it and certainly feel like I'm putting a bit better. I mean, the proof of the pudding's in holding them, but 29's a good start. Was it a, take much uh, adjustment to do something like that? Not really, no. It's, uh, I, I do practice on the putting green quite a bit like that. And I, I just don't tend to take it. I like to keep it more traditional, but, you know, as you get older, your nerves get a bit frayed and maybe the hands start getting a bit jumpy. And, but maybe that's going to be enough to keep me solid through the ball. So... But it's not a huge change, really. Stroke's a stroke. Probably your best round, your best start to a tournament for a while, Laura. The obligatory stupid question. What do you do for the next three days? Has Laura got three more days of this in her? Well, that's it. You know, that's the thing. I'm, I'm still, I'm basically starting again because last year was the worst year of my career by quite some way. I think I missed, I want to say 14 cuts. It might have been more, which is horrendous for a, you know, touring pro. That's like death really and you feel awful all the time missing cuts so you know I'm not saying I'm going to win this but I would, I would love dearly to shoot four rounds under par that would be my goal and if that was any good that would be fine but I feel like I'm just learning how to compete again because you can't just jump in with a chance to win and think you're going to do it when you've had such a long time trying to make cuts so you know we'll see what happens I, if I play like that I'll win but who's to say I'm going to play like that having said that though come the back nine Sunday if you're in the position you've won a lot of tournaments that has to help not really, no. I think it just makes it... Um, because I've been out of... Um, comp you know, I haven't been up there enough times recently where you can rely on that. All I remember is missing cuts and playing badly from last year. So, like I said, it's almost like starting again. And But if I get in position, we'll, we'll see. We, we, the, the proof of the pudding is, you know, if, if, I, if I hang on and do well, that's great. If I don't, then we've always got next week. So that's the way you've got to look at it.